Today, we're gonna to show you how to make a thousand horse to the rear tires with a stock 4.8 liter. I think it'll do a burnout just fine. Holy crap. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, we're gonna go over this thing front to back and pretty much tell you exactly about it. We had a lot of questions on the last video. Um, mainly, do you have a build thread? And we didn't have a build thread. Um, people asking, what was the setup? You know, what camshaft, did you gap the rings? What turbo? So today, we're gonna go over all that stuff. So about the car, we we'll use this thing. It's a 1985. An 85 LTD. Most people know the same thing as a Mustang. Mustang parts bolt right onto these. It's got a, that's Team Z, right? Yep, it's got a Team Z. Um, Team Z K-member, tubular K-member. Team Z, tubular lower control arms. Uh, it's got SN95 spindles. Right here, Ryan's behind the camera. If I mess something up, he can correct me because I'm telling you about his car. But, uh, <laughs> The engine is a 2004, five, six, we don't exactly remember, but it's a, a Gen three and a half, so meaning it's a 24X crankshaft, but it's got Gen four internals. Um, this engine was actually bought from a local salvage yard that ran good. Got it back, ripped it apart, and the engine was completely locked up. And if I remember right, we put tranny fluid in all the cylinders and let it sit for like a weekend. And Tried to break the thing loose. So we disassembled the thing, and when and we got this thing, we weren't planning on gapping the rings. But I, did you buy a new set of rings? I don't exactly remember. I bought a new set of rings because they were just from sitting locked up in, in that engine. They were they were just nasty. And so since they were new, we probably just checked the gap on them. They're probably somewhere around 25, 799 heads, BTR 660 springs, um, BTR little John Motorsports Stage Two cam, ARP head studs yeah, and ARP LS9 head, head gaskets, and other than that, is that what it is? LS9. I know yeah. people were asking about the head gaskets. Yep. Uh, other than that, it's bone stock. We'll tell you about the turbo. It's an S45. It's got the 96 millimeter exhaust wheel on it. Um, built by Force Inductions. This turbo is probably almost five years old. This thing's been on now three different cars. And yeah, let's put two of those cars into the eights. And actually, I think Lucas had this turbo on his Mustang. And so this will be the fourth car that this thing's been on. I forgot about that. He had it on for, what, a month or so? I don't know, something like that. So yeah, this is the fourth car this turbo's been on. And this thing's a champ because we beat the snot out of this thing. And she keeps on ticking. Got truck manifolds uh, flipped forwards, two and a half inch downpipe. All that's being fed into, what is it, a four inch BS racing intercooler? Yep. And then VS Racing blow off valve, VS Racing wastegate. I think the wastegate's a 44 millimeter. Um, one thing that really shocked us about this car, the LS6 intake. We thought this thing was gonna fall on its face about 7,000 RPM, and it carried the power. One pull we made all the way to 8,500, and it continued. It wasn't, you know, falling on its face. It was still making power. It was coming down a little bit. It had already been packed past peak power, but, uh, it was only losing like 15 horse from like seven to say like 8,200. So it's not like these LS6 intakes, this one, I don't know, this one's not any special than the rest of them, but uh, this one's making good power. So don't need a high ram, you don't need any of that stuff. Just throw an LS6 on it, LS1 intake, we make good power with those. And it's got highly rails on it, 120 pound low impedance injectors, which is where we were running into an issue on the dyno. We've got some DECA 220s to put in it, and that should be enough fuel to push this old girl to about 1200 horse. Holly fuel pressure regulator, it's boost regulated, so it bumps pressure up as boost goes up. Three and a half bar map sensor, which we are upgrading to a five bar before we put this thing back on the dyno. Besides the injectors and the map sensor, I think we're gonna leave that coupler, but there's a coupler like right here, and we're afraid we're gonna blow that off and suck it into the turbo. So we're gonna make some more aluminum pipes to go around. All right, moving back 
to the transmission. We'll start with the converter. It's a, uh, I believe it's like a 10 inch ATI. I don't exactly remember. That converter was bought like five years ago. It was looser than the converter we had in it, so that's why we put this one in. But the converter really needs to go back. Um, Ryan's original PTC he bought really needs to go back to PC, PTC and get restalled because it was just way too tight for this setup. Transmission is a Turbo 400 built by a local guy here. Um, it's all stock gearing. It's got a trans brake in it. Um, uh, billet drum, like 300M main shaft, and just uh, this kind of pretty I mean, it's, basic yeah, it's, built Turbo 400. Nothing special. Um, drive shaft, aluminum, blah, blah, blah. Rear end. I seem to think it's got a 327 in it. Ryan seems to think it's got a 350 in it. We don't really know. It's got gears in it. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> when you build a car four years ago, you forget what you did to it. We have no idea what rear gear it has, but it's got a, a Ford 88. Um, it's got an anti roll bar on it. Tubular up and upper and lower control arms. It's got relocated uppers from Team Z. Uh, strange single adjustable shocks, which is like the cheapest adjustable shock you can buy. So yeah, basic up here, basic back here. Nothing special. Inside is where this thing actually shines. This thing's actually pretty neat inside. Roll cage was built by a local guy here and uh, it is a pretty wicked roll cage. Um, the thing is pretty much hidden. I mean, Ryan doesn't get many compliments on the car, but Ryan gets a lot of compliments on the roll cage because it is, it is very nice fab work. I mean, this thing's got 100% all the interior, front seat, back seat, seat belts. It's got everything but AC. It's got full stereo, still has the power windows. Uh, even the power locks still work. The power trunk button still works. Dome light, full radio, even even got cup holders up there. Uh, it, I mean, it's trying to keep it looking as stock as possible, and I think I made it work. Even paint matched the cage. And all right, one other question we were getting: What kind of fuel pump does it have? There's what she's got. I have no idea what it is. It's got a, a fuel lab, uh, brushless in tank. Uh, it's like a 92902 or something like that. I don't remember the exact part number, but it's their biggest in tank pump that they make. All right, guys, that wraps it up for today. Hopefully, we answered a lot of your questions. This thing's pretty basic, even though it doesn't look basic with that big old stack on it. But uh, yeah, almost anybody can mimic this setup. And it's not. Uh, not too pricey, really. I mean, if you're building a drag car, you know you're going to spend some money on it, but you're definitely saving money using stock parts like stock intake, stock heads, stock short block, um, stuff like that. So we've got a few things we want to do. We want to fix the couplers. Um, like we said, coming off of this turbo over there, there's three on that side and three on this side, and uh, we want to weld them all up and put the bigger injectors in it. Put the three and a half, or take the three and a half bar off, put the five bar on, and then hopefully we'll uh, we'll be able to make 1,200, if not a little more horse out of this thing. We're really gonna have to push the turbo because it might be limited at around 11, 1150, but uh, we're gonna try it out. We might even be able to show you guys the, uh, the rods in the thing because they'll be laying on the floor and you can see that they're stock for yourself. So hopefully we won't though. We'd like to keep it alive and uh, it does have a belly pan on it, like you saw, so we're not afraid to push it at the racetrack, too, because it's, you know oil won't get on the racetrack, and everybody will be safe. So if we can make 1,200, we might wait till we can take it to the track, or uh, I don't know. Let us know. You want to see us push it as far as we can and blow it up, or try to make 1,200 and make it last? You guys decide. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you on the next one.